nose is adorable? Uh, no. But whatever rocks your boat. Hey, hey, hey! Check that out! See what an ace my friend is? Go for it, Tom! Go and talk to him. No, no way! He wouldn't want to talk to... <laughs> Hi, Leah. Everything okay? <laughs> your, your nose is nice. I, uh, I mean, basketball is nice. Yeah, it's great! Go for it, Tom! Oh. Uh, the weather is great, isn't it? That Tom, he is too cool! Hey, I'll tell you a secret. Tom's a superhero. Go for it, Tommy! Would you like to go to a movie? Huh? Uh, gotta go, Leah. He looks in bad shape. <sighs> that Tom kid is getting on my nerves. Willow, no! <laughs> No, Tom doesn't want us using magic for housework. But this is how I've always done housework. But the old way of doing things does not apply here. We're an ordinary family, and we do things in an ordinary way. You understand, dear? That means by hand. I repeat, by hand! Oh, that's no problem. Not at all. Uh, but, but what's this? What's happening to me? Where are my hands? My hands! Willow, give me back my hands right now! Mommy! That will teach you, my dear husband, that I am a fairy, not a maid. Come along, my friends. I've found someone to replace you. Willow, come back here right now! Honey? Just be glad she didn't turn one of your hands into a toilet brush. <laughs> 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 Need a hand? Mm. Let's go on in. I hear they've got Super Fight 4 on demo. Jojo, what did Leo want before? Huh? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, come on. I saw you with her at the basketball game. There are no girls in the team. Ah, oh, come on. Girls have no sense of tactics anyway. It's like with video games. They never get past level seven. Unless it's Brush My Pretty Pony 2. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Can't miss Captain Magnificent. It's starting in five minutes. Jojo? Kid, you thought you could outwit Walter, the ever-watchful watchman? But I, I didn't do it. I, I don't know how this game got into my bag. <laughs> tis, tis. Now you can tell the police all about it. Tell him, Leah! You know me! You know I'm not a thief! I didn't do it! It's not me, I swear! I'm innocent! Oh, yeah, right. The game spotted your bag, thought, I'm going to go outside for some fresh air, and jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> Parents phone number. Excuse me, you see I've got my hands full? Oh, every time I'm busy. Yeah, police.
police headquarters here. Are you Tom's mother? Now, your son had a little problem in the store today called shoplifting. Better come and pick him up right now. I'm coming right away! I knew it, I knew it. I knew that boy would come to something one day. Uh, who was that? Oh, uh, 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 nobody. Uh, just a wrong number. Gotta run. <laughs> hey, Dad. You took Mom for granted again, didn't you? Bummer. A dishonest streak in this family at last. Sweet little Tom. They come into the world, they grow up. Hey, driver! Shift that tractor! Then, one day, someone tells you that they shoplifted. I'm so happy, I could just cry! Clear up! Give me a hug, darling boy! And ferocious! Pretend I'm your mom, and we won't say anything to your parents. <laughs> mom! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You're not telling him off. He's been caught red-handed. <gasps> it is not right to steal things from stores. You really shouldn't do that. You deserve a good spanking. Is that good enough? Goodbye now. Not so fast. One last thing. <laughs> An interview with Dr. Burke, her psychologist. That's a uh, standard procedure with kids these days. Come in. Now, what do you see, Tom? A butterfly. Or, um, <clears throat> flowers in a meadow. Ooh, no, a, a beautiful kite. Yeah, that's it, a kite. Hmm. Fine, very good. Uh, don't listen to him. He'll put us in the asylum. Give me those. That one, uh, a disemboweled chicken, uh, smoking entrails, a toad spit, and this troll phlegm. Okay, well, that too. Can we leave now? Who do you say thanks to? You know, I didn't steal that game. I'm innocent. What's more, he lies. <gasps> Oh, what an adorable kid. <laughs> One of your mom's fancy tricks. Tom, hurry up. The two of us have things to talk about. Unless you want me to do the talking. No, no, I'm coming, Mom! Uh, Ampharosha? Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. <coughs> Down came the rain. So we agree I'm picking you up after school. Uh, usually I'm the one who picks him up. Come, come, dearest. How can you go out with hands like that? While we're on the subject, I'd really appreciate having my own hands back. Oh, aren't they cute? I don't like hiding the truth from them. You really think I shouldn't say anything? Of course not! Lying is the answer to all your problems, kid! Superheroes were supposed to be the good guys. But Jojo, that wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Let me explain. Drop it. I get the picture. Hi. How could he betray me like that? I thought he was a good guy. Aren't you going out with your friends, Tom? <sighs> I'm not too popular right now. Oh, Tom, we all make mistakes. I know you won't steal again, just as I know your friends will forgive you and forget all about it. Miss Tinker, I swear, I didn't steal anything. 
Oh, you'll get through this, Tom. I have faith in you. <laughs> Ow. I've got a great program for the two of us. We're gonna have a blast! Is this bike yours? Uh, not exactly. Uh, let's just say I borrowed it. <laughs> Maybe it's just a phase. I've seen it all before on Captain Magnificent, Leah. He's gone over to the dark side. And I don't want to go along with it. I've had enough. I want to go home. Oh, yeah? No one forced you to start stealing, kid. So keep your lid on, okay? But I didn't steal anything. Just imagine what poor Mama will say when she finds out her wonderful widow Tom <coughs> is a thief and a liar. <gasps> but that's blackmail. Well, yes. It is! <laughs> Fly Marshmallow cheers me up every time. I heard about what happened at the Mega Game Store. What were you thinking? I didn't do anything, I swear! Oh, when Mom and Dad find out about this, they are going to kill me. <laughs> That's for sure. You better come clean now. If they find out you did it and then you lied, you'll be in major doo-doo. But I didn't do it! See, even you don't believe me. Mom will! I know she will! Whoa! Where do you think you're going so fast? I'm telling Mom everything, and I'm sure she'll believe me. And I'm gonna tell her that you're the one who told me to lie, and that you pretended to be her! You can't stop me! Okay, go ahead. Uh, tell me, little sister, how would you feel if you happened to find out that one of your children was a thief and a liar? What a silly question, Ferocia. None of my children would ever steal or lie. That's ridiculous. Did you want to say something, Tom? Yes. Um, why don't you let Dad and I make dinner and you go and take a rest? Really? How sweet! You know, I was just thinking how I'd love to pop out and get my hair done. Go! Go! You deserve a treat, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. You're so thoughtful. It's the young man himself. You remember me? <laughs> yes, I can see that you do. Who is it, Tom? Dr. Burke, psychologist. <laughs> well, after your son's misdemeanor and the irregular results from your wife's psychological assessment, I am obliged to follow up with an inspection of your home environment. My wife? Misdemeanor? Tests? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Of course! Come on, Dad! Mom is your wife. Oh, no one offered you a drink? I'll go get some fresh beverages for everyone. Dad, come with me. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. You are so lucky to have such a thoughtful little son. My Alfred would never offer to make dinner, unless, of course, you'd done something really terrible. Really? How funny! <laughs> what? My son is a thief and a liar? But, Dad, I swear I didn't do it! Please, please, just pretend to be normal and pretend that Ferocia is Mom. If she finds out that we lied, we're in big trouble. But what about these? <laughs> Dr. Burp! Burke. 
Just yesterday evening, I was saying to my adorable little wife that what this home needed was a psychologist. <laughs> yes, someone to see what reigns in this home. Love, peace, and tenderness. So you see, we're really a normal family with a mom and dad who love each other and a very happy little boy. <laughs> Kids today. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Dr. Burke, let me introduce you to our housemaid. Her name is Sally. Sally, come meet Dr. Burke, an important psychologist who's doing some research on our family. Yes, I'm Sally, the maid. Very pleased to meet you. Now, the maid would very much like to speak with her boss, Gregor, and his son, Tom, in the kitchen right now! Uh, back in a minute. Right, so you send me off to treat myself, and I come back, and now I'm the maid? Mom, I'm really sorry, but I told a lie. Come quickly, Ferocious, just tell her how many children she can fit into a cauldron. We have to get back out there. Just be the servant, please, Fairy Pumpkins. <laughs> Telling lies, just be the servant. Hm, we'll see about that. Very interesting, yes. And you can't stand children, you say. Dreadful, nasty little creatures. Hmm. Tell me, were you popular as a child? Did the other children like you? What is that supposed to mean? Of course the little brats all love me! <laughs> well, 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 we won't take up any more of your precious time. Aha, uh -huh, sir, but you don't quite understand. I'll be carrying out a full inspection of the child's environment. Now, show me around the house. <laughs> Our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we are nuts about fresh milk in this family. <laughs> it's so much healthier. <laughs> <gasps> and what was that? That was our dog. Yes, our family dog. A short-haired side table. A rare species these days. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that an elephant in your bathtub? Oh, I feel a little strange. Oh, it seems like you need a little rest. Yes. Why not have a little nap and we'll continue the visit as soon as you feel rested. Oh! You've changed your clothes. You look nice. <laughs> a quick nap and you'll feel fine. <laughs> Cows in the kitchen, an elephant in the bath. All normal. Everything's perfectly normal. <laughs> oh, no. Willa! Mom, do you want to get us in trouble? You can't get out of lying with more lies, Tom. You should know that. I'm sorry. It seems to have been some kind of mix-up. I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Willow, please, can I have my hands back? <laughs> Willow! I'll have to think about it. Please! <laughs> No more lying or treating me like a servant? Deal! <laughs> okay, but you're going to have to do me a favor. Okay. Ah. Ah, I was wondering if I might have a glass of water. <gasps> this is bad timing, Leah. I'm kind of in trouble right now. I'm... I'm the one who put the video game in your bag. What? I said, I'm the one who put the game in your bag. Leah? Mom? I think I've been working too hard. I'm seeing things, and my daughter has turned into a thief. We 
we all get stressed sometimes. I'm sure after a good night's sleep, it will be as if nothing unusual at all happened. You know, I feel much better already. I actually thought my mind was playing tricks on me. I thought if you were accused of shoplifting, that Jojo wouldn't be so obsessed with you and, and he might actually notice me. You mean you're... No! Are you serious? You're in love with Jojo? I think he's really cute. Tom? Jojo! Tom, I want to apologize. I've been rotten to you. I realize that all superheroes have moments of weakness, like Batman. He gets mean sometimes. Superman, just the same. Jojo, do you know Leah? Wow. And do you think if Superman changed his diet, he could increase his lower arm strength even further? Maybe. The high iron content in spinach might have an effect. By the way, where did Ferocia go? Oh, well, I asked her for a small favor. <laughs> and Tom runs the length of the court. He jumps. He scores! The crowd goes wild! Guess what, Dad? They're having a two-on-two -two basketball competition at school. Teams of father and son competing against each other. Father and son? That's right. You and I could take part. You're big and I'm fast. And if I do well, I'll get on the basketball team. That's a great idea, son. You and me, together, we'll be unbeatable at basketball. Yeah! yeah! Uh, what's basketball? <laughs> Dad, a ball, a basket. You throw the ball into the basket. Um, aha! Basketball sounds just like Elf in the Hole. Elf in the Hole? You pick up an elf. You pick a hole as far away as possible. You throw the elf. Yeah! The elf flies through the air and lands in the hole. Dad and I were Fairyland father and son champions. Three centuries running. But that's nothing like basketball. And you and I will become champions, just like my dad and me. <laughs> Next up is Tom and his father, Gregor, against Victor and his father, Bob. Now, are you sure you understand the rules of basketball, Dad? Not a problem, son. <laughs> Get ready to lose. <laughs> Pass the ball, Dad! Pass it! Pass it! Pass it! Hmm? <laughs> 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 Hey, it's yours, Dad! Shoot, Dad! Shoot! Uh -oh. <laughs> that ball is much smaller than an elf. Elf, Gregor. Imagine it's an elf. Imagine it's an elf. Uh, Dad? Not now, son. I'm concentrating. Dad? You. This is like the first edition ever of Super Duper Guy! Hey, buddies! Cool! I love comics! Really? Who's your favorite superhero? Oh, it's gotta be, uh, Super, uh, Ogre, uh, dude. 
Super ochre dude? Oh, yeah. He's huge, he's very and he's fast. Whoops. Uh, don't worry, I'll go get it. Team. Well, I thought you were great, son. What's great about being thrown into the hoop by my own dad? Or showing my underwear to everyone? Who ever heard of Elf in the Hole anyway? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of! <laughs> All sounds pretty great to me. Tom, I'm sure some of the best basketball players... I never want to talk to you again! I've never seen him so upset. It's all my fault. Why didn't I realize what I was doing? Why? 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 Why can't I just have a normal family with a normal medium-sized non-humiliating dad, a normal non-flying mom, and a normal pet? Hey! Well, being upset is no reason to use the P word. I can't believe that you would refer to me as a pet. Huh? What can I do, Willow? My own son hates me. He doesn't hate you, Gregor. He's just disappointed. My dad was my best friend. We did everything together. Why can't Tom and I be like that? Well, Tom is small and you're big. That's quite a difference. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> you didn't even know what basketball was. Show him that you're interested in the same things he is. Huh? Hmm. I wish I was a boy again. Just the same size as Tom! Today. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> hey, give that back! Huh. <laughs> get it yourself! <laughs> Here, let me get it! I'm really good at throwing games! <laughs> Who's this loser? <laughs> What are you guys doing? Here you go, Tom. Here, hold this. You're a friend of Tom's? <laughs> <laughs> wow, those guys are really cool. Sure. Hey, how did you know my name? Oh, I, uh, lucky guess. I'm Greg. I mean, Reggie. <laughs> you look familiar. Have we met before? Oh, no. I just moved down here to this size. I mean, this area. I come from a place far, far away. Really? I come from a place far, far away, too. <laughs> wow. Did you see how they scrammed? Maybe they were training to beat a speed record? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you 
know, I went for a walk and then came back here for a cup of coffee. Your cup is upside down, Gregor. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey, Mom! I met this new kid at school. His name is Reggie, and he's really cool. Really? You think he's cool? <laughs> uh, good for you, son. Hi, Tom. Wanna hang out this afternoon? I fixed my edition of Super Duper Guy. It's as good as new. Sorry, Jojo. I can't. I'm meeting up with Reggie. Reggie? Catch you later, Jojo. Super duper guy, this Reggie is hiding something. <gasps> Imaginary, he's real, uh, as real as this napkin or, or this fork or or. You know Reggie, Dad? No. Yes. Uh, potatoes, anyone? Hey, Reg, what's your dad like? Oh, he's great. We play games together all the time, like tickle the goblin and yeah, I, I mean hide and seek. What's your dad like? Uh, he's okay, I guess. But he's a bit weird and embarrassing. W weird and embarrassing? He says he knows you. Is that true? Well, sure. Uh, he's a friend of a friend who once knew a sailor who married my cousin who had a dog with a waggity tail. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tom! Wanna play ball? You can play the ball! <laughs> oh, feeling brave? Maybe we'll get to see your underpants this time! Ooh, 
I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? You won't be laughing when we beat you at basket game tomorrow. This court noon. Basket game? This'll be a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Chance. Of course we do, with a bit of practice. <laughs> hey, maybe we can pull this off. We're gonna crush them, son. Huh? No, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, buddy. Fine, son. Oh, no. Where is it? Looking for this? What? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> Please, please, pretty please. Just one more time, let me have it. But, Gregor, you're always telling me not to use it. But, but if you knew what I was doing, you'd be so proud of me. Here, I'll show you. I wish I was a boy again, just the same size as Tom. Gregor, that's deceitful. But we're having such great fun. When I'm small, Tom and I like all the same things. I never want to become an adult ever again. But Gregor, your spells are very difficult to control. You could turn back into yourself at any minute. I have to go. I'm not letting Tom down again. Where are you? Ow! What's the problem? Got nobody to pass the ball to? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does! Sorry I'm late, Tom. I ran into some, uh, family trouble. Stop talking and let's play! <laughs> I'm sorry, son. I was going to tell you. I used your mother's magic wand. You were spying on me! Uh, no, uh, I just wanted us to be friends, honest. Hey, loser! You want to lose this match on the court or off it? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody calls my son a loser! Come on, son. You again, big guy? <laughs> this will be even more fun. Tom, we can do it. I'm really good at this now. I don't play with cheaters. You want the ball? Come and get it. What? <laughs> 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 Give it up, Dad. You're just making a 
bigger and bigger fool out of yourself. No fool is big enough for me when I'm defending my son. <laughs> hey, big guy. You're an even bigger loser than your son. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is not a loser! Dad, let's play Elf in the Hole. <laughs> Ready when you are, Dad. <gasps> but that's not allowed! Oh yeah? You're just afraid to lose! Good boy at that game. I won't have to go to such extremes next time. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo! Uh, stay away from my comics! Oh, don't worry, Jojo. I won't come close to your comic books. <laughs> Why don't we go hang out? Uh, aren't you meeting your friend Reggie? No, Jojo. Reggie's moved away. See you later, Dad. <laughs> oh, honey, I am so glad you came back as Gregor. Okay, you were right as always, my dear. But it was so exciting being young again, and I learned a ton of cool tricks. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Did you see? Yes, yes, very cool. I'll get your slippers now, dear. Someone please tell me why a newlywed couple would spend their honeymoon in a creepy deserted hotel with no electricity. You're ruining the movie! I think the scriptwriter and director are responsible for that, Tom. singing competition, sweetheart. This afternoon, and I want you all there. <laughs> See everyone, except you. 
later. Not fair. I don't get to go anywhere. I always end up alone. Look on the bright side. At least you don't have to suffer the Dying Caps concert. Oh, now come on, Ferocious. He's not that bad. Gregor, when was the last time you were a teenage girl? Well, actually, um... Are you really going to let your daughter on stage to make a complete and utter fool of herself? I shouldn't interfere. Mom, I think this is one of those situations when you really should. Hmm. hmm. Ah, might want to give that beard a bit of a wash. What are you doing here? I'll be good. You won't notice I'm here, I promise. And this is my talking toad, His Highness! Talking toad, <laughs> ventriloquist. Uh, the worst thing about being a ventriloquist dummy is being told what to do. Uh. On that note, good night. What? I thought it was a good line. <laughs> Okay. Good news! I've ended you in talent trap! No way! <clears throat> no way. <gasps> Can I turn that offer down? <laughs> Brave of you to show your face in school. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Hank. <laughs> Cindy, are you doing anything on Saturday night? Mm -hmm. No, you aren't, or no, you don't want to come to the cinema. Mm -hmm. I'll go. Thanks, Shirley. I'll call you. Get ready. Okay, now don't move. Oh. Testing one, two, three. I don't understand. My magic is having no effect. Are you tired of your talents going unnoticed? Would you like a shot of fame? Then hurry up and enter Talent Trap, a chance for us to trap your talent. And the winner gets a kiss from our beautiful Opal. <laughs> what? You never said the winning act gets a kiss from Opal, the princess of pop. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. 
A kiss from a princess could turn me back into a prince. I'm not sure she's a real princess. We have to win. And this means practice. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Why do I feel like I'm going to regret this? Did you know that in a recent survey, the number one reason for acts failing on Talent Trap was... Having a toad as a partner? No. Lack of experience performing in front of a real audience. And I've got just the remedy. I've booked loads and loads of gigs for us. We'll be the talk of the town. Oh, Broadway, here I come. I think this will work. Let's hope so. From throat to tongue, it's all gone wrong, so change the tune for a different song. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, chuka kabuka panache and moustache, a dash and a splash. Oh, a google a spoogle a bundle a rundle a sprinkle of spider leg tea. You have two new messages. Soggy slippers and rubber dippers, flippers and skippers, toads and Mom! Pop. Did you prefer the pigeon? <laughs> what are you doing? Good, you're awake. Time to work on our act. Work on our act? The audience loves us. The audience loves me. I'm carrying you. La, 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 la. Oh, make me laugh! We're in more trouble than I thought. Anyway, I can't. I'm doing stuff with Jojo today. After we win Talent Trap, there will be plenty of time for you to play with Jojo. Besides, we only have 15 more practices scheduled between now and the contest! The contest! The contest! Sleep well, Your Highness. All right, partner. We'll try again tomorrow. So, I'll go to the cinema with Hank tonight, and I'll put in a good word for you. Okay? No! Shirley, come here for a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Shirley. This is Mr. Pleasant, Shirley's very, very angry father. Uh, yeah? Uh... <laughs> hey, Cindy. You're looking better, aren't you? I'm all right. Let's go for a walk. Hello? Hello? I'm sick of it! Sick of it! Sick of it! I quit! <gasps> what am I hearing? You're slacking off? I'm sick and tired of being ridiculous! You wouldn't abandon your oldest friend, would you? <gasps> you wouldn't leave me all alone <gasps> in this froggy body, would you? All right, you win. I'll do it. Ah, that's my boy! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two! One, two, one, two, one, two! It's good for your voice. One, two, one, two! Uh. 
And that's, that's what, what friends, friends are, for. are for. Jazz hands. Huh? In the name of... Can't you get anything right? <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, Toad. I swear, ever since his invisible dog, Barke, ran away, he just can't do things right. <laughs> Afraid of broccoli? You you said you'd never tell. Tom sleeps with a nightlight on. <laughs> <laughs> His Highness cries at commercials for fabric softener. <laughs> oh. Once Tom got mistaken for a garden gnome. <gasps> I've got news for you. Oh, oh yeah. I'm the ventriloquist, and I don't uh, need you. Oops. Forgot to get extra hankies for the cry bit. Okay. Don't even think about turning around, buddy. Mr. Pleasant? I see that you haven't followed my advice. So you listen to me carefully. If you don't want to be watching movies to some sort of hospital eye straw, I suggest you leave now. I think that girl Cindy's more your type. I already tried to ask her out. She said no. Try harder. <laughs> now go! <laughs> What's going on in there? Who is with you? Let me in! Go away! His Highness, Tom has a new frog now. You are so dismissed! Well, I'm not going to stand for this. <laughs> <laughs> Look! A snake! Oh. 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 No. Oh. A worm? Oh. 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 Hey, look at this! I think you've got some groveling to do. Okay, but it's going to cost you... What? A hug. But you're a toad. And very slimy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Good to have you back. Now it's time to get serious. We have got to win this competition. And I can't help feeling that the ventriloquism act alone just isn't enough. We need to find something unique. Do you know what I'd do if I was you? What? what? I'd write a letter of apology to all the unfortunate people who have to sit through your act. You are that boring. Even Cindy with a deep voice is more entertaining. <laughs> what you up to, guys? Cindy, how would you like to help us win Talent Trap? Mandragora and pistachio, saffron and carpaccio. Oh, that won't work. Oh, I don't know, maybe something in the Latin. Hmm. Good book, dear. We really don't want to miss the big show. I haven't found the right spell to cure Cindy. Oh, no time for that. We have to go. Oh. Welcome, Welcome to, to Talent Trap. Track. <laughs> and now, let's have a look at our previous candidates. <laughs> My sweetie dog puppy. <laughs> One word, two syllables.
syllables. Fantastic. Please welcome onto the stage Tom and his talking toad. Wait, wait, wait! We forgot something. What? Why, a song performed by the most extraordinary voice in the world. <laughs> will find her voice so mm -hmm. the dancer can dance for Joyce. No! No way! I'm a girl with a British voice! It's back! I'm me! Cindy, I beg of you not to continue! I can do this! We're finished! I have to say goodbye to the magical kiss. I'm a teen! looks really fake. And that dance routine was so 1940s. One word, one syllable, and dreadful. My only regret is I don't have more thumbs to put down. Lose the toad, Tom. And Cindy, consider miming. Lots of pop stars do it. Next! Um, what now? This is awkward, but is there any chance that the princess of pop could Hop up here yeah, and give me a kiss on the cheek! Ah! <laughs> just, a, just a small you kiss! <laughs> I only kiss winners! Fantastic! I was afraid you'd say that. People just weren't ready for your music, Cindy. It's rare that true artists are recognized in their own time. Thanks, Dad. Don't worry, I'll never interfere again. Actually, there's kind of a dancing competition next week. Mm. <laughs> I guess you're looking for my daughter. No, sir! No, I'm not! Do you think His Highness is okay? He's fine. He's no longer complaining, and now he has someone of his own kind to hang out with. Oh, never mind what these stupid judges said. I think you're very, very talented. Well, I may not have got to kiss the princess, but at least I found you. What else do you think about me? Uh, you're green. <laughs> you know me so well. Is it true you cried commercials for fabrics off now? Shh! Don't say a word, darling. Let this beautiful summer night carry on. Mm -hmm.